so far we have discussed what are complex valued functions and their simple uh, properties for example differentiability continuity etc etc then we started discussing some classes of complex valued functions for example we discussed what are analytic functions and their properties now uh, in this discussion we are going to start with a very big class of complex valued functions now they are related to the harmonic functions so harmonic functions are in fact real valued functions but they are very strongly related to complex valued function now uh, let's begin with the definition of harmonic functions so a real valued function h of two variables x and y is said to be harmonic in a given domain d of the x y plane okay so if number one throughout the domain it has continuous partial derivatives of the first and second order so this is the first condition that uh, this function of two variable x and y must satisfy and remember it's a real valued function okay and second condition is that it must satisfy the following partial differential equation so the partial de differential equation is uh, we we take uh, second order partial derivative of h with respect to x x and x and then second order partial derivative of h with respect to y and y so h x x plus h y y must be zero throughout uh, the domain d okay so if these two conditions are satisfied then we say that this real valued function of two variable x and y is basically harmonic function okay so uh, uh, there are simple uh, notations that uh, different texts use so for example uh, this expression is basically a laplacian of this uh, real valued function phi okay so in this case uh, we are restricted ourselves uh, to functions of two variables of course this can be extended to uh, other uh, number of variables as well because uh, we are we are we are focusing on two variables because in complex uh, analysis we are taking uh, uh, the component functions u plus iota v and u and v are functions of two variables so that's why we are restricted ourselves to uh, the case where phi is a function of two variables okay and um, uh, if we put this uh, nabla square phi is equal to zero then this is known as uh, laplace equation and or potential equation okay now these harmonic functions appear many many times in applied mathematics okay so they appear when we are discussing uh, fluid flow of different problems they appear when we want to discuss the streamlines of that fluid we want to discuss potential we want to discuss the temperature distribution the steady state temperature uh, in a given plate and other examples okay now uh, let's try to consider uh, some uh, function and check whether this is harmonic or not so the given function is e raised to power minus y sin x and uh, we want to check whether this function is harmonic or not so what do we need to check so the first condition is uh, the first and second partial derivatives must be continuous and the second condition is they must satisfy the laplace equation so we need to find what is tx so in this case uh, tx is e raised to power minus y cosine x and what is t x x so once again we take the derivative of this tx with respect to x partial derivatives in this case so e raised to power minus y and then sine x but with a negative sign now similarly we can calculate what is ty so ty is basically e raised to power minus y sine x okay but with a negative sign because the partial derivative of e raised to power minus y with respect to y is in fact minus e raised to power minus y and we can also calculate what is tyy so in this case it becomes e raised to power minus y sin x okay and uh, we can we can see that uh, these uh, first order and second order partial derivatives are in fact uh, continuous functions okay and uh, we can check the other second order partial derivatives as well so these mixed derivatives so in this case it becomes okay so minus e raised to power minus y cosine x and uh, t y x is in fact okay so minus e raised to power minus y 
cosine x. So all of these first and second order partial derivatives are continuous. So the first condition is satisfied. Now what about the second condition? So in the second condition, it must satisfy the Laplace equation. So in other words, nabla square t must be equal to 0. So in other words, we need to check what is txx plus tyy, if it is 0 or not. Okay. Now let's begin with txx plus tyy. Now I'm ignoring the expression uh, that it depends on the variables x and y because it is understood. So uh, what is txx? So this is equal to minus e raised to power minus y sine x. And what is tyy? So in this case, we can see that this is equal to e raised to power minus y sine x. Okay, and we can check that they will cancel out each other and the answer is going to be 0. So the second condition is also satisfied. So we can say that this function t of x, y is basically harmonic function. Okay. So uh, that's how we check whether a given function is harmonic or not. It's a very simple procedure. We just need to check whether their first and second partial derivatives are continuous or not. And the second condition is, uh, does, the, uh, does it satisfy the Laplace equation or not? Now, this function is basically uh, uh, correspond to a physical quantity. So what is the physical quantity? It's the temperature. Okay, so now let's consider this uh, practical example where we have this uh, semi-infinite plate. Okay, so it is semi-infinite because uh, it starts from this uh, x-axis line and it goes to infinity in the other direction. So it is semi-infinite and it is bounded between uh, these lines which is x is equal to 0 and x is equal to pi. So it goes on in the other way. So it's a um, plate... Um, which is basically resting on this complex plane. Now, uh, there, there are some conditions on this plate as well. So on this side, the temperature is zero. And on this side, the temperature is also